Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Comprehensive Manga. Saiyan's Beginning in a Dream. Chapter 16. Akaji was rushed back to continue training with the football club members, and Yukinoshida Yukino returned to Chinchuan not long after. How's it going? Have you asked? Chinchuan looked at Yukinoshida Yukino with some curiosity and asked her about her inquiry. Chin Chuan actually had to question whether Yukinoshida Yukino could get any useful information. After all, judging from the original work, Yukinoshida Yukino was quite cold. Although Chin Chuan knew that she was essentially cold on the outside and hot on the inside, it was probably okay to say that she had communication difficulties. Even acquaintances would be easily choked by her if they couldn't keep up with her rhythm. However, Chin Chuan saw that the girl just now had a pretty good chat with Yukinoshida Yukino. It seemed that the other girl was the type who could keep up with Yukinoshida Yukino's rhythm. To put it simply, he is the type who is not very self-centered and is good at echoing what others say. If the other person is also a straightforward person, then there is a high probability that he will quarrel with Yukinoshida Yukino. Certainly. Yukinoshida Yukino raised her eyebrows, actually holding a small notebook in her hand. This guy not only asked for information, but even wrote it down in the notebook. This surprised Chin Chuan. He didn't seem to see Yukinoshida Yukino holding a notebook during the conversation just now, and he didn't know when he wrote it. But that's also because Chin Chuan didn't pay attention to Yukinoshida Yukino, otherwise with his ability to sense, Chi, Yukino wouldn't be able to hide any little moves from him. Tamaya Shion is a student in Class C of the first year of high school. Because his father was a football player and his brother also likes football, he has also liked watching boys play football since he was a child. Opening the small book, Yukinoshida Yukino read out the information she had just collected as if reading from a text. It seems that he is interested in becoming the manager of the football department, but he has a shy personality, so he has never dared to submit an application. He can only watch the football department training on the sidelines every day, and mentally assume that he is what he would do if he were the manager of the football department. Quote dot dot dot. So, when she came to see the football club's training, she wasn't actually interested in any boy, but was interested in football. Chin Chuan scratched his head, wondering for a moment whether this was a good thing or a bad thing for Chimu. The good thing is that this girl named Tamaya Shion doesn't like anyone else in the football club. The bad thing is that she also has no interest in Akaji. She is interested in the sport of football and the football club. That's right, so I accepted Tamaya Shion's request and decided to help her join the football department and become the football manager. Yukinoshida Yukino nodded with satisfaction, then closed the notebook in his hand and quickly announced a new decision. So you took on a new commission while collecting intelligence. Chin Chuan looked at Yukinoshida Yukino speechlessly. This guy was really helpful. Akaji hadn't finished the commission yet, so he took on a new commission by the way. Because the commissions of Akaji-san and Tamaya-san do not conflict, they can even be said to be complementary. Yukinoshida Yukino gave her reasons very seriously, she has such a serious character, and she didn't just accept Tamaya Shion's commission on a whim. Allowing Tamaya-san to join the football club as a manager will also create opportunities for Akaji-san to get along with each other. Don't you think this is killing two birds with one stone? That's true, but I don't think the two of them can get along much even if they are in the same club. Chin Chuan also admitted that what Shueno said made sense, but he also put forward his own opinion. You also said that Tamaya-san is too shy to even submit an application to the football club, and that guy Akaji is also timid at critical moments and has never dared to talk to Tamaya San. Are you sure? Can the two of them chat? Indeed, their two personalities are a problem. Even if they are put together, they may not talk to each other. If other football team members interfere, the commission will fail. Yukinoshida Yukino pondered for a moment and realized the problem. There is still a possibility of solving Tamaya San's problem. I have obtained her contact information and can ask her out privately to train her character. Did you even get your contact information? Chin Chuan's eyes suddenly changed when he looked at Yukinoshida Yukino, this guy, if he wasn't a girl, would be really good at striking up conversations. A girl he met for the first time easily got her contact information. However, if Yukinoshida Yukino was not a girl, Tamaya Shion would not let down her guard so easily. 
But Akaji-san is not easy to deal with. After all, he is a boy, and I don't know much about boys' personalities. Although Yukino Shida Yukino could guide Tamaya Shion, she was a little helpless against Akaji, so after thinking about it, she turned her attention to Chin Chuan. Quote dot dot dot. What do you think I'm doing? I'm not a member of the service department. Seeing Yukino Shida Yukino looking over, Chin Chuan quickly said, this guy's eyes looked like he wanted to catch a strong man. Classmate Chin Chuan, classmate Akaji is your friend after all. If your friend is in trouble, shouldn't you help him? Seeing Chin Chuan's expression as if he had seen a savage beast, Yukino Shida Yukino was also a little helpless. I don't think Akaji needs my intervention. Although that guy is timid, as long as he is delayed, he will take the initiative sooner or later. Chin Chuan shook his head. He had been in contact with Akaji for a while, and he had some understanding of Akaji's situation. He knew that even if Akaji missed the possibility of this love affair, it would not have any impact on him. But this way the commission from the Ministry of Service will not be fulfilled. However, Yukinoshida Yukino was obviously not satisfied with this result. Having established the service department, of course she wanted to complete the assignments of her classmates as successfully as possible. First tell me what you are going to do if I help. Chin Chuan thought for a while. Although he had no obligation to help Yukinoshida Yukino complete the commission, since his friends were involved, it was not impossible for him to help him this time. Anyway, he would definitely not be willing to keep working for the service department, but he was not opposed to helping Akaji for once. It's very simple. Since you are worried that the two of them will not be able to talk smoothly after joining the football department, then directly create an opportunity for the two of them to talk alone. Seeing that Chin Chuan seemed to be relieved, Yukinoshida Yukino also breathed a sigh of relief, and then told her plan. This weekend, I will ask Tamaya san out, and you will ask Akaji san out. After that, the two of us will leave first and let them stay together. After hearing Yukinoshida Yukino's plan, Chin Chuan fell silent, he felt that the plan was a bit too childish. Not to mention whether Akaji and Tamaya Shion would disband after he and Yukino left. Even if they didn't disband, would Tamaya Shion really be interested in Akaji? After all, judging from Yukinoshida Yukino's introduction just now, Tamaya Shion doesn't seem to have any intention of falling in love. But seeing Yukinoshida Yukino's expression that seemed confident about her plan, Chin Chuan quickly understood. This Yukinoshida Yukino, after all, is just a dog-headed military counselor who has never been in love. Although he was very unfavorable about the plan proposed by Yukinoshida Yukino, Chin Chuan thought about it and gave a response that still agreed. Okay, then you call me when you are ready to implement the plan over the weekend. I happen to have some things to deal with over the weekend, and I will have an excuse to leave them both. There is no way, Yukinoshida Yukino is a dog-headed military counselor who has never been in love, has Chin Chuan already been in love. Chin Chuan himself is also a novice who knows nothing about love. He is not much different from Yukinoshida Yukino in essence. If I have to say it, at least he will not make plans for others as confidently as Yukinoshida Yukino. But if he doesn't agree with Yukinoshida Yukino's plan, and Chin Chuan himself can't come up with any good plan, then the atmosphere will most likely become very awkward. So in order not to be ridiculed by Yukinoshida Yukino, Chin Chuan simply agreed to her plan. Anyway, everyone is happy when the plan succeeds, but when the plan fails, Yukino, Akaji, and Tamaya are also embarrassed. What does it have to do with Chin Chuan? However, after agreeing to Yukinoshida Yukino's plan, Chin Chuan found that the other party was still staring at him, and couldn't help but subconsciously raised his hand and touched his face. Why are you looking at me like this? Is there something on my face? Give me your contact information. Otherwise, how can I inform you about the weekend? Are you dreaming? Yukinoshida Yukino also had a speechless expression. She waited for a long time with her mobile phone in her hand. Unexpectedly, Chin Chuan didn't react at all. Shouldn't a boy be more proactive about exchanging contact information? Why did she have to speak in the end? Only then did Chin Chuan react, and he quickly took out his mobile phone and exchanged contact information with Yukinoshida Yukino. While exchanging contact information, Chin Chuan also subconsciously glanced at Yukinoshida Yukino's mobile phone screen. 
there was only a few contact information on it, one of which was Tamaya Shion's name that had just been filled in. Thinking about it, Yukinoshida Yukino's previous way of life didn't look like she could make many friends, so naturally she didn't have a few people on her contact list. Even the only male among her contacts is her father. Chin Chuan is probably the first contact of a boy of the same age in her mobile phone. As the football club's training ended, Chin Chuan and Yukinoshida Yukino also disbanded. Yukinoshida Yukino said that she would go back and think carefully about how to bring Akaji and Tamaya together, and let Chin Chuan pay attention to her contact at any time. In this regard, Chin Chuan could only say that she was happy, for the plan of Yukinoshida Yukino, a newbie in love, Chin Chuan also had the idea of, what if it comes to fruition. In Yukinoshida Yukino's view, her communication with Chin Chuan was just a part of completing the service department's commission, but in the eyes of others, it was different. Hey, Chin Chuan, you kid. Dot how did you hook up with Yukinoshida so quickly? After the football club's activities ended, Akaji's expression was as if he had seen a ghost. He rushed up regardless of the smell of sweat and wanted to question Chin Chuan. He could clearly see just now that Chin Chuan and Yukinoshida Yukino exchanged contact information. Yukinoshida Yukino, who is usually polite to everyone and extremely cold every time she talks, exchanged contact information with Chin Chuan, his male friend. Don't come near me if you smell like sweat. Chin Chuan pressed Chimu's forehead with his fingers in disgust and pushed him away easily, disapproving of this guy's sudden appearance. Yukashida is just completing the service department's commission don't think too much. I didn't expect you to be the first to catch the sour smell of love before I even had the slightest clue. However, Chin Chuan's explanation seemed not to be listened to by Chimu at all. This guy had completely fallen into a daze, leaving Chin Chuan very helpless. Sure enough, just as he had thought before, these adolescent boys and girls would be exaggerated by them even if they had the slightest clue. He and Yukinoshida Yukino just exchanged contact information. Looking at Akaji like this, it was as if Chin Chuan had already stepped onto the ladder of adulthood. Okay, let me tell you about the girl Yukinoshida learned about first, and then I will find a way for you to have a relationship with her. Chin Chuan knew that continuing to explain would be useless, so he simply didn't bother to explain, changed the topic directly, and brought up the information about the girl Akaji was interested in. Sure enough, seduced by Tamaya Shion's information, Akaji immediately forgot about the fact that, his friend has tied the knot with a well-known beautiful girl in school. Really, tell me now, I can't wait. After the day at school, Chin Chuan returned home smoothly. After grabbing some food for dinner, Chin Chuan was ready to take a bath and then lie down on the bed. Yes, he was going to explore the Dragon Ball world for the second time. Last night, he got the teleportation skill and the control of key in his dream, but he was still far from the main mission. Because the main mission requires that Frieza with 100% power must be killed, this means that Chinchuan cannot use a sneak attack to kill Frieza when he has a combat power of 530,000 in the first stage. Therefore, for Chinchuan, any side tactics are useless. The only way to advance the main mission is to improve his strength and give himself the power to defeat Frieza head on. After taking a shower and changing into pajamas, Chin Chuan sat on the bed like yesterday, but before getting ready to sleep, he took a look at his phone. When he looked at it, he saw a message from Yukinoshida Yukino on the screen. Huh, why is this guy sending me a message so late at night? Chin Chuan opened the news about Yukinoshida Yukino with some curiosity. If another girl sent him a message late at night, Chin Chuan would probably be excited, but this was Yukinoshida Yukino's message, so he could guess what the content was with his toes. It's indeed a plan. This guy really wrote down all the detailed steps. Looking at the long list of plans on the screen, Chin Chuan burst out laughing, should Yukinoshida Yukino be serious or stubborn? She would try her best to complete what she wanted to accomplish. Bringing two high school students together would probably be something that most people would just deal with casually, but Yukinoshida Yukino had made such a detailed plan. Maybe this is Yukinoshida Yukino, it fits her character very well. I understand, see you Saturday morning. After roughly reading the long list of plans written by Yukinoshida Yukino, Chinchuan simply replied and put down his phone. 
Compared to Yukino Shida Yukino, the Dragon Ball world is more attractive to him now. Women and other things will only affect the speed of my turtle style Qigong. I don't know what Yukino Shida Yukino's expression on the other side of the phone would be like when she saw such a simple reply from Chin Chuan. She probably felt helpless as if she had finished her summer homework seriously, but was given a red by the teacher. After being immersed in the dream, Chin Chuan did not appear directly in the Dragon Ball world this time. Instead, he saw a special pop up window in the darkness. Dear Cobbles, please choose the mission world you want to enter. 1. Dragon Ball. This is obviously a selection interface used to choose to enter the mission world, but there is only one Dragon Ball world on it, and Chin Chuan still doesn't know how to unlock the second world. Judging from what he has observed in the Dragon Ball world now, it is unlikely that he will be able to improve his soul and mental strength in the Dragon Ball world in a short time. However, the physical combat effectiveness of Dragon Ball world is really strong, which makes Chin Chuan quite satisfied. However, Chin Chuan actually loves and hates the Dragon Ball world. Love, because the overall level of the Dragon Ball world is very high, so after Chin Chuan randomly obtained the identity of a Saiyan, he almost reached the sky in one step, possessing combat power that is too extravagant for the real world. Hate, because the combat power in the Dragon Ball world is too high, so the main mission is extremely rare. Chin Chuan estimates that if he is unlucky, it will take a long time to complete the mission of defeating Frieza with 100% power. And more importantly, if the way to unlock the second world is to clear the main mission of the first world, Chin Chuan will be really stuck. I can only hope that the way to unlock the second world is simpler. Chin Chuan, who was a little confused about his future, sighed and chose to enter the Dragon Ball world, he had no other world to choose from now. The next moment, Chin Chuan felt the darkness in front of him fade away instantly, and his figure appeared in the woods again, he knew this woods, it was the same woods he was in when he quit the game last time. The hole blasted out by the Qigong wave that destroyed Elec's body was still at his feet. After realizing that his position had not changed from the last time he exited the game, Chin Chuan immediately suppressed his anger and reduced his combat power to a low point. Sure enough, the next moment, a beam of light shone from the distance, a large lighting equipment was lighting everywhere, and it happened to shine on Chin Chuan. Stretching his head out, Chin Chuan looked into the distance. There was originally a Cyrillic city, but now it has completely turned into ruins. Now a large group of Frieza army's handymen are cleaning up. After all, Frieza's business is to sell these planets to aliens in need. Since they are commodities, the appearance of them is naturally very important, and these urban ruins naturally need to be cleaned up. Of course Chin Chuan knew about this, so he suppressed his anger immediately. In this way, even if someone from Frieza's army accidentally detected this area with a combat power detector, they would only see two people, digits of combat effectiveness. With double-digit combat power, which is equivalent to that of large beasts on some planets, Frieza's army will naturally not care. The planet they are selling only eliminates human civilization, but does not eliminate the biosphere, a planet without even animals, I am afraid not many people are willing to buy it. However, besides Frieza's army, there was another group of people walking through the ruins of the city. These people were not uniformly dressed, and there was obviously no discipline. They did not obey the command of Frieza's army, but the orders of a small blue-skinned woman with dreadlocks. Just from her hairstyle and skin color, it is not difficult to tell that this woman is of the same race as Elec. Chin Chuan knows her, this guy's name is Maggie, and he and Elec belong to the same Sita clan. Elec, the leader of the Sita clan, disappeared on Cyril. This was of course a major event for the Sita clan, so Maggie asked someone to search for Elec's traces. Unlike Frieza, although the Sita clan has businesses all over the universe, they do not have their own armed forces. Their source of manpower is mercenaries from all over the universe. As long as they can afford the money, there are many people to work for them. Frieza is obviously not ready to break up with the Theta clan yet, so Frieza doesn't care about the fact that the Theta clan has hired a bunch of mercenaries to search Cyril. In this way, there are now two groups of people on Cyril, the large number of mercenaries invited by the Sita clan, and the miscellaneous personnel of Frieza's army mixed together, each doing their own thing, with almost no communication. Very good, just as I thought. 
Chin Chuan looked at this situation with satisfaction, after killing Elec, this situation was already within his expectation. It is undoubtedly a good thing for Chin Chuan that the two groups are mixed together, because it means that if someone suddenly drives away in a spaceship, the two groups will think that the person on the opposite side is acting without authorization. The people in Frieza's army looked down on those mercenaries, and those mercenaries also looked down upon Frieza's army. The two groups had no desire to communicate at all. In this case, it was best to fish in troubled waters. Keeping his combat power low, Chin Chuan quickly found the landing point of Frieza's army's spherical spaceship nearby. The ground was full of pits made by the spherical spaceship, and no one was even watching. Perhaps in the eyes of Frieza's army, these spherical spaceships are not very valuable things. But this was convenient for Chin Chuan. He directly picked a relatively new one among these spherical spaceships, then opened the hatch and got in, pinched the positioning system and pulled it off. This positioning system is used by Frieza's army headquarters to determine the location of the spacecraft. Before departure yesterday, Chin Chuan asked the logistics staff responsible for maintaining the spacecraft and he told him everything. After all, in Frieza's army, the status of combat personnel is much higher than that of support personnel. Although Saiyans have always been nicknamed monkeys in Frieza's army, it is undeniable that the support staff did not dare to resist Chin Chuan's questions. Before setting off yesterday, Chin Chuan had already made preparations to leave Frieza's army, so he naturally investigated these details early. Throwing the positioning device outside the spacecraft, Chin Chuan closed the hatch of the spacecraft and began to set the destination. The computer of the spherical spacecraft stores the coordinates of many important planets collected by Frieza's army. As long as the planets are set, the spherical spacecraft will automatically go to the destination. Among these coordinates, Chin Chuan spent a little time and found the destination coordinates he needed. Zuno Star. This planet, just like its name, is where a person named Zuno lives. This Zunuo is a well-known intelligence master in the entire universe. He knows almost everything. He can even provide the location of the Super Dragon Ball. He can be called a fully upgraded version of the fortune teller. This guy is Chin Chuan's next target. Because Zuno is a well-known intelligence provider in the universe, Chin Chuan guessed that the planet coordinates collected by Frieza's army should include the planet Zuno, and now it seems that it is indeed the case. Of course, if the coordinates collected by Frieza's army are not included, Chin Chuan also has a backup plan which is to obtain the location of Zuno from the Theta Clan. As a businessman who can also sell information, the Theta Clan must have a way to get it. Zuno's location. But it seems that it is not needed now. As for the price of letting Zunuo provide information, according to the original work, it is that Zunuo must provide a kiss, and then Zunuo will determine how many questions the other party can ask based on his feelings about the person who provided the kiss. This setting is undoubtedly the bad taste of the author Akira Toriyama, but turning it into reality is not just a simple bad taste. Of course, Chin Chuan couldn't kiss that Zunuo. He had already thought about it. If the other party didn't answer the question, he would directly use violence to force him to ask. Zunuo himself has little fighting power. With his rules, if the questioner is a person who abides by the rules, then there is no problem. But if the opponent does not abide by the rules and is powerful, Zunuo can't do anything. In the original work, the King of Universe 10, Zamasu, once violently demanded information about Zuno's Super Dragon Balls. He, Zamasu, could do it, but why couldn't I, Chin Chuan? After setting the target location as Zuno, the spherical spacecraft started immediately, slowly rose into the air, then gradually accelerated, and flew directly away from Cyril. As Chin Chuan expected, no one cared that a spaceship flew away. Even if a few people saw it, they just thought it was someone from the other side who acted without authorization. The mercenaries of the Theta clan would think that Frieza's army had something going on, so they let one person leave, while Frieza's army thought that it was probably a mercenary of the Theta clan who wanted to act alone, so they used their spaceship. After all, the Theta Clan's spaceship is a large spaceship that carries many people every time. If you want to act alone, you can only borrow the Frieza Army's one-person spherical spacecraft. Anyway, spherical spaceships are not a very valuable thing in Frieza's army. 
Many people destroy a few when they go on missions, especially Saiyans. After turning into giant apes, there are countless spaceships trampled to pieces. So the people in Frieza's army don't care if someone drives the spaceship away. Anyway, with the positioning system, Frieza's army will naturally know where the spacecraft has gone and can recover it at any time. Of course they didn't know that Chin Chuan had dismantled the positioning parts before starting the spacecraft. No one caught up, that's good. After the spacecraft started, Chin Chuan kept looking at the situation outside through the window of the spherical spacecraft, until he flew into the universe, no one caught up with him, which showed that he had indeed succeeded in fishing in troubled waters. It's just that the time it takes to reach Zunuo is a bit exaggerated. Although it was a good thing that no one noticed that Chin Chuan had stolen the spherical spaceship, he felt a little headache when he saw the flight time displayed on the small screen. 21,514 tuckers are needed, was clearly displayed on the screen. Tucker is a universal unit of time in the universe. According to Earth's time conversion, 100 tucker is about 48 minutes. Chin Chuan still remembers this. In other words, it will take a full 7 days to fly from here to Zuno. This left Chin Chuan a little helpless. After all, it was a journey across planets. Frieza's spherical spaceship was actually very fast, but even so, the flight time of several days was unavoidable. For a small planet like Earth, which is on the edge of the universe, it would even take a year to fly there. Zuno is at least in a prosperous area of the universe, so it doesn't take that long. It seemed that Cyril was too close and it only took a few hours to fly there, giving Chin Chuan the illusion that it didn't take long to fly to other planets. Fortunately, every time I exit the game and re-enter the world, I always appear at the relative position. Chin Chuan was also a little lucky at this time. Every time he entered the world, the relative position appeared, not the absolute position. In this way, he at least does not have to worry about exiting the game in the spherical spacecraft and appearing directly in the universe when he re-enters tomorrow. But if this happens, won't I have to be trapped in this spherical spaceship for the next seven days? There will be no entertainment facilities in this broken space. Although there is no need to worry about appearing in a vacuum after going online, it is also true that Chin Chuan is sitting in the spaceship and has nothing to do. It is not difficult to see from the conversation between Vegeta and Nappa in the original work that the only thing that can be done in this spherical spaceship is to directly use the hibernation device, which at least allows people to spend the long flight time unknowingly. But it is definitely impossible for Chin Chuan to sleep. He doesn't really have to sit in the spaceship for seven days. After these eight hours, he can return to the real world. The space inside the spherical spaceship was very small. Chin Chuan sat huddled inside and couldn't even stretch his hands and feet. It would be really uncomfortable for him to sit in this situation for eight hours. At this time, the beauty of the second world can be seen. Chin Chuan sighed. If he had the choice of the second world at this time, then he could choose to go to the second world to exercise for seven days and let the spacecraft fly alone in the universe. When you are almost at your destination, enter the Dragon Ball world and appear inside the spaceship, so that you won't waste seven days. But now that the spaceship has started, he has no choice but to accept his fate. If that's the case, then I'll just quit the game. He has no interest in sitting in such a small place for eight hours and then quitting. Now there is always an option to, quit game, on his panel, and he can quit directly. Wait seven days before entering the Dragon Ball world and you should have flown to Zuno Planet by then. But just when Chin Chuan was about to exit the game, a new line of information suddenly flashed on the screen of the spaceship. Um, Chin Chuan was stunned for a moment, and then looked at the content displayed on the screen. The content was very simple, it was that a planet where Frieza's army's spacecraft had landed was detected nearby and a distress message was being sent. And judging from the distress messages, those Frieza army's spaceships have been severely damaged. Are there other Frieza troops around here sending out distress signals? Chin Chuan touched his chin, a little curious. There were not many opportunities for Frieza's army to ask for help. Could it be some special situation? Could it be Brawly and his son? If the world Chin Chuan lives in is the so-called, official history, world line, then Brawly and his son also exist, and judging from the fact that Bardock's son was just born, Brawly should have been born long ago. 
Because Brawley showed terrifying growth potential shortly after his birth, he was exiled by King Vegeta to the uninhabitable planet Vampa on the grounds that he was too dangerous. Brawley's father Paragus also closely followed. Have you never heard that Star Vampa is near Star Cyril? Why don't you go and have a look? However, the possibility that this distress signal was sent by Brawley and his son is not very high. After all, Brawley's father Paragus hated King Vegeta deeply because of this incident, and also attacked Frieza's army. I no longer trust him. In this case, sending a distress signal that would be noticed by Frieza's army is obviously seeking death. Since we don't know the specific situation, we might as well go take a look. Anyway, there is a long voyage of seven days ahead, so why not find something to do for yourself before the long voyage? The planet where the distress signal is located is not far from Chinchuan, and it only takes an hour or two to fly there, which is within the acceptable range. After determining the target, Chinchuan set the spacecraft's navigation route and turned to the planet where the distress signal was located, preparing to see what happened on that planet. Even if he encounters danger, with teleportation around, escaping should not be a problem. This is why Chin Chuan dares to check the situation. I can only say that curiosity is a good thing. The first time I sat on the spherical spacecraft for several hours, I didn't feel bored. The second time I sat for an hour or two, I almost vomited from boredom. After the spacecraft landed smoothly, Chin Chuan walked out of the spacecraft cabin with a hopeless expression. He had been so bored that he fell asleep in the past hour or two. It can only be said that when Drive Librev modified Sun Wukong's spaceship in the original work, he was right to add entertainment facilities to him. It is really painful to have no entertainment facilities during a long flight. Even a cultivating madman like Sun Wukong must at least have space to move his body. This spherical spaceship must be curled up inside, which is really a very anti-human design. However, after the spacecraft landed, Chin Chuan also learned about the general situation of the planet. Unlike what he had guessed before, this planet was not Vampa, but a planet without a name, only a number. According to the information seen from the spacecraft, this planet seems to have a very large population of beasts, and the combat effectiveness of these beasts is not low. If non-combatants enter, they may actually be eaten by the beasts. Chin Chuan took out the combat power detector and put it on, then glanced around and saw a lot of combat power values in the distance. Judging from the outlines displayed on the detector, they were indeed basically large beasts. The combat effectiveness of these beasts is indeed not low. The combat effectiveness of many beasts has exceeded 1000. If placed on the earth, they would be giant beasts enough to destroy human civilization. Although these beasts are indeed not weak in combat power, they shouldn't be able to force everyone in Frieza's army to send out a distress signal, right? Although the fighting capabilities of these beasts were outstanding, Chinchuan still didn't quite understand why the men of Frieza's army were sending distress signals here. Under normal circumstances, Frieza's army will be followed by combatants when they travel, and Frieza's army's combatants, although not killing these beasts, should not have a problem escaping. But soon, Chin Chuan saw something else on the combat effectiveness detector, several high combat effectiveness reactions appeared in the distance, and judging from their outlines, they were not beasts. A member of Frieza's army. Chin Chuan pointed the combat effectiveness detector in that direction and turned on the combat effectiveness check, and then he saw the value on the detector's lens begin to soar crazily. Almost in the blink of an eye, the combat power value soared to more than 10,000, which scared Chin Chuan and quickly turned off the combat power detector. It's not that he was frightened by the combat power value, but he knew very well that the upper limit of the combat power detector he was wearing was only about 20,000. Once it exceeded this range, the detector might explode. Now he only has this combat power detector on hand, and he can't let it blow up. More than 10,000 combat power. No, based on the speed at which the value surged just now, it is estimated that the final combat power value is an astronomical figure. I am afraid it is stronger than Frieza. Where did this monster come from? Chin Chuan couldn't help but curse secretly, he didn't expect that there were monsters with such fighting power on this planet. But despite what he said, Chin Chuan still lowered his breath and rushed towards the direction of the monster. Although there is a certain danger, he has come, and he can't just run away without taking a look at the person whose combat power comes from him. 
then isn't his trip in vain. Even if there may be nothing gained in the end, at least he needs to know who is here. Because he was depressed, Qin Chuan's speed was much slower, but he still arrived at his destination in about 10 minutes. Hiding behind a huge rock, Qin Chuan carefully poked his head out and looked ahead. Not far away was a huge open space, with a strange-looking building standing in the open space. No, if you look closely, there are four pillars underneath the building, so this must be a spaceship. This spaceship is really big. Is the distress signal sent by Frieza's army related to this spaceship? Qin Chuan observed the spaceship carefully, frowning and thinking, it seems that the exaggerated combat power aura just now should come from this spaceship. He searched his mind for memories of Dragon Ball that he had watched before, but he seemed not to remember that a spaceship of this shape appeared. There must be some clues. Qin Chuan carefully observed the spacecraft again, and finally found a mark that he had an impression of engraved on a corner of the spacecraft. It was an M-shaped cursive character. Because it was engraved on the corner of the spacecraft, Qin Chuan couldn't notice it immediately, but now that he saw it, Qin Chuan reacted immediately. It's Magician Babidi's spaceship. Qin Chuan immediately understood that in the original work, Babidi buried his spaceship underground, leaving only an entrance exposed, so Qin Chuan had no impression of the shape of the spacecraft. In other words, is Babidi already planning to resurrect Majin Bu? He came here probably to collect the power of these beasts, right? In order to resurrect Majin Bu, Babidi has been collecting the power of powerful people from all planets in the universe, and injecting those powers into Majin Bu's egg can resurrect Majin Bu. From this point of view, those Frieza army's distress signals should be that someone from Frieza's army mistakenly entered the planet and was caught by Babidi's men, so the distress signal was sent. As for after sending out the distress signal, they were probably in danger. Babidi was not a kind person, and he didn't blink at all when he killed someone. And the source of that extremely exaggerated combat power should be Babidi's subordinate, Dapra, the king of the demon world, who is staying in the spaceship. Dapra's strength can be said to be at the fault level in this period, and he is a character who belongs to the next few chapters. Even if Frieza fights Dapra with 100% combat power, he will be easily killed instantly. Dapora, Majin Buu, Chin Chuan frowned. Of course, he couldn't go head to head with Dapra now. There would be no benefit to him. In Dapora's eyes, his own strength was probably no different from that of an ant. In fact, Babidi also has a way to improve his strength. By letting Babidi activate the evil heart in his heart and enter the demonized state, his strength can also be improved to a certain extent. But the price is that after being demonized, he will be controlled by Babidi. Although Babidi's control is not very strong, the human warrior Yamu controlled by him in the original work temporarily broke away from Babidi's control and tried to escape because of the fear of his companions being killed. However, no matter how small the control is, it is still control. Chin Chuan cannot be willing to be controlled by Babidi just for that little improvement in strength. Although I can't get any benefits from Babidi, Dapora and Majin Bu, it's okay to add some trouble to Frieza. Away from Babidi's spaceship, Chin Chuan found several other Frieza army's spherical spacecraft nearby. As he expected, these spherical spaceships were penetrated from the outside. Apparently they met Babidi's men by chance as soon as they landed and were captured alive. What happened after that was probably that he hurriedly pressed the distress signal, and then he was caught by Babidi's men, drained of his power and then disposed of. This kind of hastily sent distress signal can only be received by the approaching spacecraft, but there is also a distress signal sent specifically to Frieza's army headquarters, which these spacecraft obviously did not send out. Then let me help you send it. Opening these spaceships, Chin Chuan found those specific signal transmitting devices, and then activated them one by one, so that the Frieza army headquarters would receive the signal. Frieza's army will definitely send people to check the situation by then, and a conflict will eventually break out with Babidi's men. Although Babidi will definitely win in the end because Dapora is here, it is inevitable that something will be damaged during the battle. To a certain extent, it can also delay Babidi's progress in resurrecting Majin Bu. As for whether Frieza would come here in person, only to be killed by Dapora. Chinchuan wasn't too worried about this. Because Frieza had been warned when he inherited his father's legion that there were two people in this universe that he could not provoke, 
one was Majin Bu, and the other was Beerus, the god of destruction. As long as Frieza figures out that the opponent is Babidi who is resurrecting Majin Bu, he will definitely stop his losses. Although it is unlikely to pose too much of a threat to Frieza, it is great to be able to disgust Frieza. Who let him get stuck in his main mission? After confirming that the distress signal was sent back to Frieza's army headquarters, Chin Chuan left with satisfaction. If he continues to stay here, he may be discovered by Babidi's men. With Chin Chuan's current strength, if a battle breaks out, he can only rely on teleportation to save his life. And if the spacecraft is destroyed in the battle, Chin Chuan will be trapped on this planet, and he will not be able to physically rush into the universe. Although they clearly have the power to threaten the universe in the later stages, they are unable to survive in the universe and are even threatened by heart disease. These characteristics of the Saiyans, such as high attack power and low survivability, have been criticized by many people. He once again controlled the spherical spaceship to leave the planet. This time he was really heading to Zuno. Along the way, he was not going to stop unless he encountered a planet that appeared in the original work, such as Vampa. But as soon as the spacecraft flew out, the system's beep sounded in Chin Chuan's mind. Dear player Kobold, you have completed the achievement, the first step of synchronization. The new mission world has been confirmed and recorded. Achievements. It's really a common element in games. Sitting in the spaceship, Chin Chuan, who was about to quit the game, was stunned when he saw this, and then felt a burst of joy. Because the second tip said that the new mission world has been confirmed and recorded. In other words, the second world has been unlocked, and it seems that there is no need to complete the main mission of the first world as he had done in the worst case scenario. And the name of this achievement is, the first step of synchronization, and if you want to talk about synchronization. Chin Chuan quickly opened his panel, and sure enough, the content on it had undergone a slight change. Current world, Dragon Ball. Main mission, destroy Frieza's 100% status. Synchronization of player kobold strength, 1%. Players are requested to try their best to advance the main mission and unlock strength synchronization. The synchronization rate has changed from 0% to 1%. Although it is only such a small change, from the perspective of the system, this 1% is the real first step in synchronization. The previous 0.5% synchronization does not count in the eyes of the system. But why does the synchronization rate increase? Does what I just did seem to the system to be advancing the main mission? Although he was happy with the changes in the panel and the unlocking of the second world, Chin Chuan was also confused as to why the synchronization rate changed. Judging from the description at the bottom of the panel, the only way to unlock the synchronization rate is to advance through the main mission. So, his actions just now are regarded as efforts to eliminate Frieza. Chin Chuan felt that his action just now was just to add some trouble to Frieza's army, and it had nothing to do with destroying Frieza, right? In fact, if he just wanted to kill Frieza by any means necessary, Chin Chuan would have thought about deceiving Frieza in front of Dapora and using Dapora's hand to kill Frieza. However, considering that the requirement of this system was that he should kill it himself, he suppressed this idea. Otherwise, if Frieza is really killed by Dapora and the main mission is not completed, will I still have this synchronization rate? Although I can't figure it out, it's a good thing if there is progress. After thinking about it for a while, he couldn't figure out how his actions just now contributed to the main mission, but since the system said so, he couldn't have to sing the opposite. Although this system obviously has no intelligence, if your doubts are fixed as bugs and the synchronization rate is returned, there will really be no place to cry. Moreover, unlocking the second world is also an urgent need for Chin Chuan. Next, the seven days in the Dragon Ball world will be spent in the spaceship. If there is a second mission world, then he can spend these seven days in the second mission world. Maybe the power gained from the second mission world can in turn help him in his actions in the Dragon Ball world. In addition, the earth in the Dragon Ball world is also a place he must go to, but if he uses a spherical spaceship to go to the earth, it will take a year, which is obviously too long. He will definitely not consider it until he finds a spaceship or other method that can quickly travel to earth. The worst thing is, he still has two Dragon Balls in his hand. Although they are now petrified, these two Dragon Balls will turn back into shape in a year. 
It's not impossible to use these two Dragon Balls to teleport himself to the Earth. Anyway, he has experienced how much these two Dragon Balls stretch his hips, and he doesn't expect this Dragon to bring him much improvement. In comparison, the Earth Dragon should be more useful. After all, the Earth God said that the Great Elder of Namek said that the quality of the Dragon Balls created by the genius of Namek must be much better than these two Dragon Balls. In that case, let's exit the game first and see what's going on in the second world. Although the strength was not improved on Babidi's planet, the synchronization rate was improved, which was considered a worthwhile trip. Next, he will have to see what the second world is. If nothing else happens, all the sleeping time in the next seven days will be spent in the second world. Different from the situation when he quit the game before, Chin Chuan did not wake up directly in bed this time, but fell into darkness. In the darkness, the option of choosing the world appeared in front of Chin Chuan again. Dear Cobbles, please choose the mission world you want to enter. 1. Dragon Ball. 2. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Quote dot dot dot. The second world is actually this. Chin Chuan was a little surprised. He originally thought that the second world would be similar to Dragon Ball in style and might have high martial arts value, but he didn't expect it to be Jojo. How should I put it? The world of this work is very different from Dragon Ball. Even in the early stages of the plot of Dragon Ball, the moon is already blown up at every turn, and in the middle stage, it is even threatened by blowing up the earth, which sounds scary. As for the plot of Jojo, excluding the special case of Boss Pucci in the sixth part who reshaped the universe, it is basically just an urban superpower work. The limit is to demolish buildings and smash streets. To be fair, Chin Chuan's 4000 combat power in the Dragon Ball world is not needed, just the 20 combat power he got simultaneously in reality. Oh no, it should be 40 combat power now, and it can achieve similar effects. However, this world also has something that the Dragon Ball world cannot do for the time being, which is the improvement of the spirit and soul. That's right, the work, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, has the power called, Stand In, which is the embodiment of spiritual power and a symbol of the soul. In the world of Dragon Ball, it is difficult for Chin Chuan to improve his spirit and soul in a short period of time, but in the world of Jojo, it is easy to do it. One of the ways to awaken the avatar is to be stabbed by a special arrow in the work, and then you can awaken directly without any complicated steps or costs. It's just that if the substitute is not awakened, he may die. But Chin Chuan is not too worried about this, because even if he really dies, the worst he can do is lose a mission world, and Chin Chuan can't afford the loss. After all, the biggest role of this world is to provide him with opportunities for spiritual and soul evolution. In terms of the upper limit of force value alone, the Dragon Ball world is simpler and more crude. Then let's enter the new mission world and try it. There is no point in just thinking so much here. It is better to go in first to see the situation. Chin Chuan directly chooses to enter the second mission world. However, the system then popped up a prompt that left Chin Chuan speechless. Dear Kobold, your remaining play times today are zero, please try again tomorrow. In other words, I can only enter one mission world every day. Chin Chuan scratched his head. The meaning of this reminder was obvious. He had used up the remaining times in the Dragon Ball world today, so he could not enter the second mission world. However, since there is a setting for the remaining number of games, it means that this number can still be added, but Chin Chuan doesn't know how to add it yet. This broken system is said to be a game, but many settings have to be explored step by step. There is not even a tutorial, which really makes Chin Chuan want to complain. If you put this design into reality and let netizens see it, the producer's horse will be gone long ago. However, although he failed to enter the second mission world, the main mission of the mission popped up smoothly, allowing Chin Chuan to know the situation of this world in advance. Current World Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Main Mission Destroy Dio Synchronization of Player Kobold Strength 0% Players are requested to try their best to advance the main mission and unlock strength synchronization. Dio, the boss of the first and third parts of, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, is also an important character throughout the first to sixth parts. Among the fans of this work, some people jokingly said that this work should be Dio's wonderful interpersonal relationship. But Chin Chuan doesn't care about this. 
What he cares more about is, is this Dior the Dior of the first film or the Dior of the third film? There is a big gap between the first and third parts of this work. The stand-in that Chin Chuan wants to get is only available from the third part. The protagonist's ability in the first and second parts is the ripple breathing method, a fighting method that uses a special breathing frequency to generate ripples like solar energy to increase strength. After all, Chin Chuan, who already has a combat power of 40 in reality, really doesn't like the ripple breathing method very much. Although the ripple breathing method has the effect of slowing down aging, Chin Chuan is not in urgent need of this effect now. As for the effect of killing vampires, he doesn't even need it. He can't meet vampires in reality. As for whether he could kill the evil spirits Yatsugumiko saw, he didn't have much hope. After all, the essence of Ripple's killing of vampires was to simulate the energy of the sun. Those evil spirits wandered under the sun all day long, but he didn't see them die. It's better to use a substitute to destroy the evil spirits. Destroy Dio. I hope it's Dio in the third part, otherwise the timeline of the first part is really useless to me. At this time, Chin Chuan could only hope that after entering the mission world, he would be in the timeline of the third part, so that he could obtain the substitute ability more easily. Of course, in addition to this, there is an even worse possibility, which is that after entering the mission world, you find that it is actually the timeline of the second part. Because in the timeline of the second part, Dio was not actually dead, but was locked in a coffin and sunk into the sea and fell asleep until he was fished out decades later. In that case, Chin Chuan would have no way to kill him. He couldn't let Chin Chuan go to the sea and gamble his luck to fish out Dio's coffin. I can only make plans after entering the Jojo world tomorrow. Chin Chuan felt that he should not be so unlucky. After struggling for a while, he chose to turn off the system. By the way, Chin Chuan still regrets choosing the name Kobold when he was naming it yesterday. This directly caused the system to call itself a Kobold every time it prompted it. After hearing it too many times, it always felt like being scolded. There was nothing he could do about it. Who told the system to call itself an Infinite Horror VR game at that time? When he heard about Infinite Horror, what naturally came to his mind was Team Battle PvP. So at that time, I thought I could hide my identity as much as possible, so I came up with a strange name. Little did I know that I was the only player in this world, so I picked up such a pseudonym for nothing. In short, after he gets a substitute from the Jojo world and improves his mental power and soul, he will probably be able to deal with the evil spirits around him. Even though I can't see the evil spirit now, I still feel a bit awkward after knowing that there is indeed an evil spirit. The next morning, when Chin Chuan came to the classroom, he found that Kato Megumi had already arrived. There were not many people in the classroom. Chin Chuan came quite early, but most of the students who came early were already gathering in twos and threes to chat. Only Kato Megumi was sitting in his seat to preview his homework. On the one hand, it shows that Megumi Kato is a good child who loves to learn. But on the other hand, it can also be seen that Megumi Kato has a low sense of presence, so that she really has no one to talk to. However, Kato Megumi seems to have been used to this situation for a long time, so he doesn't seem to find anything strange in previewing alone. Kato, morning. Chin Chuan sat down in his seat and said hello to Megumi Kato, since there is no one else to chat with Megumi Kato, he should take up this position. In any case, Kato Megumi is also a beautiful girl, and chatting with her will not make Chin Chuan feel uncomfortable. A. Hey, Chin Chuan, good morning. Kato K's body trembled slightly, as if she was frightened by Chin Chuan's greeting. She paused for a moment before turning back, with a slightly surprised expression on her face. Although Megumi Kato has always behaved very calmly, she is still a long way from facial paralysis, and her emotions can still be clearly seen. Of course, Chin Chuan felt that her expression was always so calm because of her low sense of presence. Because no one was talking to her, there was no need to make too complicated expressions. He suspected that if Kato Megumi stayed like this and had no one to talk to, he would really be paralyzed in a few years. Why do you look scared? Am I that scary? Chin Chuan smiled and took out the textbook from his school bag, put it on the table, and said to Megumi Kato. No. I just didn't expect Chin Chuan to notice me today. I thought yesterday was just an exception. 
Kato Megumi shook his head and looked at Chin Chuan's eyes flashing with curiosity, obviously surprised that Chin Chuan could always notice her. After chatting with Chin Chuan for a while yesterday, Kato Megumi was actually quite satisfied, but now it seems that Chin Chuan will be able to chat with him more often in the future. Didn't you say that? I want to talk to you more in the future. Of course Chin Chuan still remembers what Kato Megumi said yesterday. Now that he has the ability to sense Chi, Kato Megumi's low presence will naturally not affect him. Those were just kind words. Megumi Kato's expression has also become much clearer. Although she still has the same calm expression at first glance, if you look closely, you can see that the corners of her mouth are slightly raised. It's quite cute. Although Kato Megumi is not the kind of stunning girl, she has a unique flavor. Speaking of which, if Chinchuan san talks to me often, Yukino Shida san might get jealous. Yukishida. When Kato Megumi suddenly mentioned Yukino Shida Yukino, Chinchuan was also slightly startled. Why did you mention her suddenly? Isn't Chinchuan san dating Yukino Shida san? Kato Megumi looked at Chinchuan curiously, with curiosity shining in his eyes. Where did you hear about this kind of thing? Chin Chuan's lips twitched. He just met Yukino Shida Yukino for the first time yesterday. How come Kato Megumi already knew that they were in contact? Could it be that the rumors about him and Yukino Shida Yukino spread so quickly? Impossible. He and Yukino Shida Yukino only met after school yesterday, and the news had already reached Kato Megumi's ears this morning. There's no way those football club members had nothing to do last night and were there all night spreading rumors, right? I saw you and Yukino Shida san by the court after school yesterday. They seemed very close. However, Kato Megumi did not hear any rumors from others, she saw it with her own eyes. Quote dot dot dot. Do you think I misunderstood something? I see, Yukino Shida and I are just helping my friend chase girls. After hearing Kato Megumi's words, Chin Chuan also understood why she knew that she was in contact with Yukino Shida Yukino. You should also know that person, it's Akaji, the one who asked me to accompany him to the service department yesterday. With that said, Chin Chuan told Kato Megumi that he was dragged to the service department by Akaji yesterday, and was dragged by Yukino Shida Yukino to make suggestions to bring together Akaji and Tamaya Shion. Service club, I see. I didn't expect that Yukino Shida san to have such a side. After listening to Chinchuan's explanation, Kato Megumi understood what happened yesterday, and also gained a new understanding of Yukino Shida Yukino. As a student who considers herself to be an ordinary student, Kato Megumi had heard about Yukino Shida Yukino, a beautiful girl who was a top student, but she really didn't know that Yukino Shida Yukino had such a helpful side. It's just the way she helps others. Although Kato Megumi has never been in love, like Chin Chuan, she subconsciously feels that her plan is a bit unreliable. So, does Kato have any suggestions? You can tell me and I will pass it on to Yukino Shida. Seeing Kato Megumi's expression of embarrassment after hearing Yukino Shida Yukino's plan, Chin Chuan knew that she must also feel that Yukino Shida Yukino's plan was not reliable. Forcibly leaving two shy people alone together, just to let them develop feelings for themselves, this kind of thing can only go so well in comics. Ah, but I think that people who have never been in love wouldn't be able to offer any constructive suggestions when faced with this situation, right? Hearing Chin Chuan's request, Kato Megumi first thought about it seriously, and then found that she couldn't think of anything, so she could only express her helplessness. After all, Chin Chuan, Yukino Shida Yukino, and Kato Megumi are all people who have never been in love. In this regard, they have no ability to give advice to Akaji and Tamaya Shion. Of course, Chin Chuan and Kato Megumi are self-aware, but Yukino Shida Yukino is obsessed with self-confidence and feels that the plan she made is completely fine. But Chin Chuan's willingness to help his friends is already remarkable. Kato Megumi looked at Chin Chuan with a smile and praised him. After all, Chin Chuan is not a member of the service department. He participated in this matter purely because Akaji is his friend. In Megumi Kato's view, Chin Chuan is certainly worthy of praise. I'm just helping out by the way. Dot and that guy Akaji might be more honest if he has a girlfriend on his leash. Chin Chuan shook his head, feeling that this was nothing. After all, that guy Akaji did a lot of stupid things in order to meet the famous beautiful girls in the school. 
If he can really date Tamaya Shion, then Tamaya Shion can at least control him and stop him from messing around. What about Chin Chuan? Have you ever thought about having a girlfriend? The topic turned to having a girlfriend. Kato Megumi blinked, looked at Chin Chuan curiously and asked. Chin Chuan was also startled by Kato Megumi's sudden question. It's not that he was so narcissistic that he thought Kato Megumi would fall in love with him after chatting with him a few times in the past two days, but he really hadn't thought about this issue before. He had been waiting for his system to load, such as girlfriends, so even if some girls confessed their feelings, he declined them for the time being. But now that the system has been loaded, he also knows the true face of the system, and can even use the power of the system to become stronger and live a better life. In this case, having a girlfriend doesn't seem to be a problem. But before Chin Chuan could answer Kato Megumi's question, Akaji's loud voice came over, directly interrupting the conversation between Chin Chuan and Kato Megumi. Chin Chuan, do you want to accompany me to the service department again today? Akaji's shout suddenly ruined the rhythm of the conversation between the two, and Chin Chuan couldn't help showing a look of disgust on his face this guy, it would be better to find a girl to tie him up. PFF. Chin Chuan's expression made Kato Megumi couldn't help laughing. She blinked at Chin Chuan, then turned around, leaving room for conversation between Akaji and Chin Chuan. I have to say that Megumi Kato is indeed a good child. Not only is he quiet, he also knows how to advance and retreat and will not occupy other people's space. Although his thoughts were interrupted just now, Chin Chuan felt that if he wanted to have a girlfriend, Kato Megumi might indeed be a good choice. However, Kato Megumi seemed to be ready to leave the space for conversation to Akaji, so Chin Chuan had no choice but to turn his head and look at Akaji, his tone full of disgust. Why are you going to the service department? Didn't you go there yesterday? Of course he disliked it. Talking to a rough guy like Akaji was not as comfortable as talking to a sweet-smelling girl like Kato Megumi. However, Akaji obviously didn't realize that he had disturbed Chin Chuan. After all, Kato Megumi's low presence worked as usual, and Akaji didn't even notice that Chin Chuan was talking to others. Of course I want Yukinoshida to help me make suggestions. Chimu looked at Chin Chuan with a very puzzled look, as if Chin Chuan said something very unreasonable. Didn't you say that Yukinoshida would help me make a plan so that I and Shion can get along well? After listening to Akaji's words, Chin Chuan also fell silent. Unexpectedly, Yukinoshida Yukino was very confident in his plan, and Akaji was also very confident in Yukinoshida Yukino. But then I thought about it, Akaji looked at the famous beautiful girls in the school as if they were idols, so it was not surprising that he had a fascination with them. I don't know if this guy would be disillusioned if he knew that Yinglili was a book artist. I haven't even written the horoscope yet, and it's called Zion. Chin Chuan was also a little helpless against Akaji's impatient look, this guy and Tamaya Shion didn't even say a word, they both called her by name. That's all you need to do in front of me. When you meet Tamaya, don't call her by your first name. People will think you are very rude. In Neon, people with ordinary relationships are generally called by their full name or surname and only very close people are allowed to call them by their first names. Elementary school students may still call each other names because they can't understand the distance, but Akaji and Tamaya Shion are high school students. If they call each other by their first names when they don't know each other, they will definitely be disliked. Although Yukinoshida Yukino's plan may not be reliable, if Akaji commits suicide and brings his favorability to a negative number first, it will be difficult to save him even if it is reliable. Don't worry, I know what's going on. Chimu patted his chest, looking very proud, but then he rubbed his hands and looked at Chin Chuan cautiously. So after school today, Dot can you accompany me to the Ministry of Service? Although it was okay to go alone, after seeing the scene where Chin Chuan and Yukinoshida Yukino had a happy conversation, yesterday, Akaji felt that it would be better for Chin Chuan to accompany him. At least Chin Chuan and Yukinoshida Yukino talked very naturally. Akaji felt that if he talked to Yukinoshida Yukino, he would definitely be too nervous. That's not necessary. If you have a plan, Yukinoshida has already sent it to me. Waving his hand, he felt that there was no need to go to the service department again. 
After all, Yukinoshida Yukino also had her own things to do in the service department and couldn't disturb her every day. He and Akaji were not members of the service department, so it was nothing to go to the service department all day long. But as soon as he finished speaking, he found that Akaji suddenly became quiet. If he looked carefully, he found that Akaji was staring at him with a very startling gaze. Before Chin Chuan could speak, Chimu lowered his voice and asked in shock. Did you exchange contact information with Yukinoshida? Um, Chin Chuan was stunned for a moment, then reacted. When they were disbanded yesterday, he told Akaji that Yukinoshida Yukino would make a plan and tell him when the plan was finalized. Then as soon as he went to school this morning, he told Akaji that Yukinoshida Yukino had sent the plan. So the conclusion is obvious, either Yukinoshida Yukino visited Chinkwanman last night, or the two of them exchanged contact information. Otherwise, how could Yukinoshida Yukino send the plan to Chinchuan? You guys are usually quite out of tune, but this time you think very quickly. Chin Chuan said angrily. Yeah, it's just an exchange of contact information. I suggest you don't think too much. I understand, I understand, I won't talk nonsense. Akaji nodded, with an expression like, I know everything, but I will cooperate with you. It was obvious that this guy now wanted to fall in love with Tamaya Shion, so much so that when he saw Chin Chuan and Yukinoshida Yukino, he felt that there were signs of that. But since he promised not to talk nonsense, Chin Chuan still believes in this guy. Although Akaji is an athletic boy and a bit simple-minded, he is still a pretty good person. Otherwise, his popularity in the class would not be so good. Since Yukinoshida has sent you the plan, there is indeed no need to go to the service department today. Although Akaji usually wanted to meet the famous beautiful girls in the school, but now, probably because he had a girl to pursue, he calmed down and did not insist on seeing Yukinoshida Yukino again. Moreover, what Chin Chuan said made sense. Yukinoshida Yukino established the service department not just to help him chase girls. He could not be allowed to take up all of Yukinoshida Yukino's entrustment. Then, let's talk again during lunch, and remember to tell me your plan then. During the conversation, Akaji saw that the teacher had entered the classroom with a lesson plan, which meant that class was about to begin. At this time, Chimu naturally couldn't stay with Chin Chuan anymore, so he waved to him and ran towards his seat. On the podium, Shizuka Hiratsuka was teaching a Chinese class, and most of the students below the podium were listening carefully. On the one hand, it is because the exam is coming soon, and even some students who are cramming are now making the final sprint. On the other hand, Shizuka Hiratsuka is a good teacher who cares about her students, coupled with her iron-fisted rule, which makes many students respect and fear her and dare not get distracted easily. As an ordinary student, Chin Chuan was of course listening carefully as always. But in the middle of class, Kato Megumi, who was sitting in front of Chin Chuan, suddenly turned around, put a small note on Chin Chuan's desk, and then turned back naturally. Chin Chuan. Chin Chuan didn't react for a while. Is Kato Megumi passing a note in class? This kind of behavior of passing small notes is quite common among students, but Kato Megumi, her actions were too obvious. He turned around and put the note down. As long as the teacher is not blind, he can see this action clearly, right? Chin Chuan subconsciously raised his head and glanced at Hiratsuka Shizu on the podium, and Hiratsuka Shizu seemed to feel Chin Chuan's movements and glanced at Chin Chuan. From Shizuka Hiratsuka's gaze at that moment, Chin Chuan could sense what Shizuka Hiratsuka meant, don't be distracted and listen to the class carefully. Well, Kato Megumi has the characteristic of low presence. Even Hiratsuka Shizuka, who cares about students, was not immune to this effect. He did not notice that Kato Megumi turned around and handed a note to Chin Chuan at all. But since Hiratsuka Shizu didn't pay attention, Chin Chuan couldn't complain. Relying on his ability to sense, Chi, he quietly opened the note in his hand while sensing Hiratsuka Shizu's movements. With his current perception ability, every move Shizuka Hiratsuka makes will cause her, Chi, to change. It can be said that Chin Chuan can perfectly avoid Shizuka Hiratsuka's sight. Kato Megumi didn't write anything complicated on the note, he just wrote a contact information on it. 
Obviously, Kato Megumi heard the conversation between Chinchuan and Akaji before class and knew that Chinchuan and Yukinoshita Yukino had exchanged contact information. Then for some unknown reason, she also wanted to add a contact person with Chin Chuan. After all, Chin Chuan is the only person who can always pay attention to her. It is normal for her to want to communicate with Chin Chuan more. Chin Chuan didn't pay much attention, took out his mobile phone and added Kato Megumi's contact information under the desk. But what Chin Chuan didn't expect was that Kato Megumi actually approved the request immediately and sent Chin Chuan a smiling emoticon backhand. Chin Chuan raised his head and glanced at the back of Kato Megumi in front of him, Kato Megumi sat upright. If Chin Chuan hadn't seen the message she sent, he might not have thought that she was secretly playing with her mobile phone. Megumi Kato, you're a bad student and you actually play with your phone in class. Chin Chuan found it a bit funny, so he avoided Hiratsuka Shizuka's sight and sent a message back to Kato Megumi on his mobile phone. Listen carefully to the lecture. Obviously classmate Chin Chuan is also secretly playing with his mobile phone. My academic performance is better than yours. Yes, although Chin Chuan adheres to the principle of living a normal life and tries his best to keep his performance to a relatively ordinary level, his grades are also in the middle and upper reaches of the whole grade. Compared with Kato Megumi, whose performance has always been in the middle, it is indeed a little better, although not much better. You actually use your grades to bully people. I don't know if it was because of the chat software, but Chin Chuan actually felt a coquettish feeling from these words. But think about it, Kato Megumi usually speaks in a very flat tone, making it difficult for people to feel her emotional ups and downs. If the same content were spoken by Megumi Kato, there might not be that coquettish feeling. Of course, it might just be Chin Chuan's illusion. He doesn't want to become the victim of the three major illusions in life. Chin Chuan, you can just call me Wei. Immediately afterwards, Kato Megumi sent another message, and this message was a bit intriguing. Of course Chin Chuan knew why Kato Megumi said that. Of course it was because he heard Akaji call Tamaya Shion by name. But she actually asked Chin Chuan to call her by her name. Could it be that Kato Megumi already thinks that he can be considered a good friend of hers? Then you should also remove the word, classmate. Of course Chin Chuan wouldn't mind becoming better friends with Kato Megumi, but Kato Megumi kept calling him Chin Chuan San, and this title was a bit unfamiliar. Then, Ashwan, quote dot dot dot, Megumi, you should also pay more attention to your distance. Chin Chuan was also a little helpless. Ever since Kato Megumi discovered that he could communicate with her normally, there seemed to be no sense of distance all of a sudden. Although it does not feel bad to be close to a beautiful girl, Chin Chuan is also a little worried that Kato Megumi has no sense of distance, and it will be bad if he is deceived by a bad guy one day. Don't worry, no one else will notice me except Ashwan. Kato Megumi's response was a bit confusing and sad. Although Kato Megumi should have been used to being ignored for a long time, this text still seems a bit pitiful. Chin Chuan is not a person who cares much about other people's opinions, but when he thinks of Kato Megumi's usual situation, he can't help but feel a little bit intrusive. Okay, I understand, I will chat with you more in the future. Chin Chuan felt that Kato Megumi was a little lonely, so he was so enthusiastic about someone who could notice her. However, Chin Chuan felt that it was not a loss. He could have a close relationship with a beautiful girl. How many people wanted to do it but couldn't do it? That would be perfect. Hashtag laughing face. I don't know if it's an illusion, but Chin Chuan feels that in the chat software, Kato Megumi's performance is more lively than in real life. In this way, the two secretly established a chatting relationship without anyone noticing. After that, Kato Megumi and Chin Chuan chatted online for a while, including daily life family situation and so on, it can be regarded as a little understanding of each other. The class time passed quickly, and until the end of the get out of class, Hiratsuka Shizuka didn't notice that Kato Megumi and Chin Chuan played with their mobile phones for the entire class under her nose. Chin Chuan relied on his ability to sense, chi, and was able to put away his phone every time Hiratsuka Shizuka looked over, pretending to be paying attention to the lecture. Megumi Kato was more direct, her head buried all the time, 
and her eyes almost always stayed on the mobile phone under the desk, but Shizuka Hiratsuka just couldn't notice her. From this point of view, Kato Megumi's low sense of presence has reached a certain level of superpower. I see, you were with me on Saturday, then Yukinoshida and Shion were together, and finally you and Yukinoshida left, leaving Shion and I alone. During lunchtime, Akaji ate a bento, listening to Chin Chuan inform him of Yukinoshida Yukino's plan, and kept nodding. After listening to Yukinoshida Yukino's plan, Akaji had no objection at all and directly agreed to the plan. It could be seen that he seemed to be quite satisfied with the plan. However, while agreeing to this plan, Akaji also looked at Chin Chuan with a slightly thoughtful look, and his tone became a little bit harsh. But you and Yukinoshida left, and you said you had nothing to do with each other. We left to create opportunities for you and Tamaya, but you are still trying to squeeze us both here. Chin Chuan looked at Akaji speechlessly. This guy couldn't grasp the point at all. Can he really muster the courage to take down Tamaya by then? He originally felt that Yukinoshida Yukino's plan was a bit unworkable, but now seeing Akaji's behavior, he felt even more unsure. Anyway, remember it. Judging from what Yukinoshida heard, Tamaya does not favor anyone in the football club. You have to seize the opportunity. I understand that when you create opportunities for me, I will try my best to seize them. Akaji also knew that this was an opportunity created for him by Chin Chuan and Yukinoshida Yukino, so he nodded seriously. Although he had never spoken to Tamaya Shion before, if he didn't work hard after creating the opportunity this time, he might not have that opportunity in the future. After all, Yukinoshida Yukino also accepted Tamaya Shion's commission. I am afraid that next week Tamaya Shion will muster up the courage to submit an application to the football department to become the manager of the football department. When the time comes to face the group of boys in the football club, Akaji will not have any outstanding advantages, so he must establish a solid relationship with Tamaya before then. As long as you understand, don't waste the hard work that Yukinoshida and I have put in. It was rare for Akaji to become serious, and Chin Chuan nodded with satisfaction. Let's not talk about whether Yukinoshida Yukino's plan is reliable or not, but at least the opportunities created for Akaji are real. But it's Saturday, which is the day after tomorrow. It seems that I have to ask my cousin for help tomorrow and ask him to match me with a more handsome outfit. After taking a bite of the chicken drumstick in his lunch box, Akaji took out his phone and took a look. Today is Thursday, which means that the day after tomorrow is the day when they will gather together. Akaji is a typical sports boy, and these sports boys are not all handsome boys who are good at dressing up like in the comics. Akaji's aesthetics can be said to be disaster level. So it is a normal choice for him to ask for help from his family, but. The cousin you are talking about, could it be Takenori Akaji? Chin Chuan chewed the bread bought from the canteen and looked at Akaji speechlessly. My opinion is that you should ask your cousin. I'm afraid your cousin's advice will not be any better than your own matching. Akaji's cousin, Takenori Akaji, was the ace of the basketball club in other high schools. He had heard Akaji say this before. Although Chinchuan has never met Takenori Akaji, he has seen Takenori Akaji's story in the comics of his previous life, let the gorilla teach Akaji how to dress. Just thinking about it, Chinchuan felt that this date might be pornographic. However, Akaji Takenori's sister Akaji Haruko might be able to give Akaji some advice, at least to get Akaji to come without wearing big pants and a tank top. That's right, my cousin doesn't seem to be very good at dressing up either. When Chin Chuan said this, Akaji nodded in agreement. After all, his cousin seemed to be bad at anything except playing basketball. When it comes to dressing up, it's better to ask girls for reference. But having said that, I'm going to find someone to help me with my outfit reference. You should also consider it, right? However, after his own affairs were arranged, Akaji helped Chin Chuan think about it. After all, you and Yukinoshida will have to be alone by then. Yugashoshi and I just left together, leaving you and Tamaya some alone space. It doesn't mean that Yukinoshida and I will also act together next. Chin Chuan looked at Akaji helplessly. He didn't know what was wrong with this guy, so he felt that he and Yukinoshida were having an affair. Although he and Yukinoshida exchanged contact information so quickly, the purpose was to bring Akaji and Tamaya Shion together, and there was no other reason. 
Yukino Shida Yukino is not the kind of person who falls in love at first sight. Chin Chuan is very self-aware. He doesn't think that Yukino Shida Yukino will develop special feelings after just meeting him once. Although Akaji has been trying to push him, Chin Chuan will not have any wrong impressions just because others say a few words. After I leave you on Saturday, I have other things to do, so I won't be acting together with Yukino Shida. What are you going to do on Saturday? Akaji looked at Chin Chuan with some curiosity. It can be said that Akaji knew quite a bit about Chin Chuan's actions on his days off. Normally, Chin Chuan would stay at home on his days off and only do three things. Games, games, some special games. If it weren't for the fact that he usually had smooth conversations with other people in school, Akaji would really wonder if Chin Chuan was a nerd. And Chin Chuan, who usually just stays at home and plays games on his days off, actually said that he had other things to do when he went out on the weekend, which of course had to surprise Akaji. Prepare to find a place like a martial arts gym to practice some skills. Chin Chuan didn't mean to hide it, or there was nothing to hide about this kind of thing. His fighting power has now improved, and his control of Qi has become perfect, but even so, his fighting skills are still a mess. Although with the help of Qi, wandering, he can burst out a power stronger than the combat power value in a specific part, strengthening the parts as if he were at ease, but that is just a technique for exerting force. Even the simple and crude Saiyans have their own set of fighting skills. As a fighting race, they have gradually figured out a practical combat system through accumulated practical combat over time. Unfortunately, after Chin Chuan entered the mission world, although he inherited the Saiyan identity and combat power, he did not inherit the Saiyan combat skills. The best place to learn skills in the Dragon Ball world is on the Earth, whether it is Kamezan style or Tianjin's demon style Kung Fu, they are both good martial arts systems. It's a pity that he is in the Dragon Ball world and won't be able to go to Earth in a short time. So instead of drowning with the idea of, I won't use the martial arts I didn't learn in the Dragon Ball world, it is better to learn something in the real world first. Although the martial arts learned in the real world cannot teach you Qigong waves like the martial arts in the Dragon Ball world, it is at least much better than Chin Chuan's Wangba boxing set. Chin Chuan felt like dying when he thought that he had thrown a set of punches in front of Bardock and was then commented on whether there were still internal injuries in his body. Today ended without any incident. With Hiratsuka Shizuka's formulaic farewell words, the students in the classroom all dispersed. Akaji also said hello to other students and left in a hurry, probably to participate in the football club's training. Chin Chuan didn't do much else today. Apart from the normal class, he just chatted with Megumi Kato, face to face after class, and taking time to chat on his mobile phone during class. I have to say that after chatting for a day, the relationship between Chin Chuan and Kato Megumi has really become closer. Kato Megumi seemed to have not met someone she could chat with for a long time. She chatted with Chin Chuan about many things, as if she wanted to vent all her pent up desire to chat. Probably because he understood Kato Megumi's situation, Chin Chuan also accepted all her chat requests and had a good chat with her. However, even though the content of the chat increased, Kato Megumi still maintained his plain expression when chatting face to face, and no emotion could be heard in his tone. After all, this is a habit that has been developed for a long time. Chin Chuan does not think that Kato Megumi can become emotionally rich in just one day, as long as it does not continue to develop in the direction of facial paralysis. But Chin Chuan is also a little worried. Kato K seems to only chat with him now. If he continues like this, will he only show emotions in front of him? A beautiful girl who seems to be paralyzed in front of others and only shows her emotions in front of herself. Hey, it sounds a bit emotional. After saying goodbye to Megumi Kato and other students, Chin Chuan picked up his school bag and left the classroom, preparing to go home. It was a special occasion to go to the service department yesterday. Under normal circumstances, he would return to the home department, that is, go home directly after school. But as soon as he reached the school gate, Chin Chuan felt his cell phone suddenly ringing, this was a reminder that someone had sent a message. Does Wei want to chat again so soon? Hearing the beep of his cell phone and feeling it vibrating in his pocket, Chin Chuan's first reaction was that Kato Megumi had contacted him again. 
It's no wonder that he thinks so. After all, he and Kato Megumi spent the whole day chatting at school, so now when his phone rings, he subconsciously thinks that Kato Megumi is contacting him. A person who has been ignored by others, after finally finding someone who will take him seriously, the speed of his emotional release is indeed beyond imagination. Chin Chuan stopped and stood at the school gate and took out his mobile phone. He was about to reply to Megumi Kato like he did in class today, but when he took a closer look, he found something was not right. Because it was not Megumi Kato who sent the message, but someone he had never expected before. Yukino Shida Yukino, why don't you come to the service department today? Um, Chin Chuan was stunned. He didn't expect that the message was from Yukino Shida Yukino. Before he took out his phone, he really didn't expect to receive a message from Yukino Shida Yukino, mainly because Yukino Shida Yukino's usual behavior was quite cold, and it didn't look like he would take the initiative to contact boys. However, Chinchuan also probably knew that Yukino Shida Yukino contacted him mainly because he wanted to complete the commission regarding Akaji and Tamaya Shion. Haven't the plan been finalized? Why do you still need me to go to the service department? Chin Chuan replied to Yukino Shida Yukino's message with some confusion, it would be okay if he didn't reply. After all, once a line message is opened and read, it will show, read, on the other party. If you don't reply to the message even though you have read it, it would be a bit rude. Chin Chuan is not a young lady using a smartphone for the first time, so naturally she will not do such a rude thing. But he didn't quite understand why Yukino Shida Yukino wanted him to go to the service department again. He was not a member of the service department, so he couldn't point at one person to grab a strong man, right? It will be more convenient to refine the details of the plan and discuss face to face. Yukino Shida Yukino also responded to the message immediately, and the reason given was quite sufficient. After all, Akaji is Chin Chuan's friend, so it is okay for Chin Chuan to work hard for his friends. Don't worry, there's no one else in the service department. Probably thinking that Chin Chuan might not like being disturbed by others, Yukino Shida Yukino added another sentence. It's just that this sentence seems a bit weird, like a girl saying to a boy, there is no one else in my family. It has an inexplicable sense of ambiguity. Although Chin Chuan knew that Yukino Shida Yukino probably didn't mean that strange thing, he couldn't help but think that this sentence was really easy for people to think wrongly. But how did this guy know that I wasn't going to serve in the ministry? After pressing down the phone, Chin Chuan was a little confused about Yukino Shida Yukino's keenness. Logically speaking, school had just ended and Chin Chuan had just walked to the school gate. Yukino Shida Yukino actually guessed that he was not going to serve in such a short period of time, department. Thinking of this, Chin Chuan turned to look at the school's teaching building. With his strong eyesight, he naturally quickly saw Yukino Shida Yukino's side face in a window, and Yukino Shida Yukino's gaze was looking at at the school gate. As if she realized that she had been seen by Chin Chuan, Yukino Shida Yukino hurriedly closed the window again. Chin Chuan couldn't help but feel funny about her attempt to conceal herself. It turned out that he found himself at the school gate, so he quickly sent a message asking him to go to the service department. Yukino Shida Yukino, who usually behaves very coldly, also has a cute side. But since he was going home to play games anyway, Chin Chuan didn't think much about it, turned around and walked back to the school planning to go to the service department to meet Yukino Shida Yukino to see how she planned to perfect her plan. Anyway, Yukino Shida Yukino is also a beautiful girl, and discussing things with Yukino Shida Yukino is not a torture. If Akaji sends a message asking her to go for a trip at this time, she might just get a, go away, from him. Arriving at the door of the service department, Chin Chuan knocked on the door, and then heard Yukino Shida Yukino's cold, come in, voice from inside. Opening the door and walking in, there was already Yukino Shida Yukino waiting inside, although she was sitting upright and looked very serious, Chin Chuan could still see that her ears were a little red with embarrassment. Probably because of the embarrassment of being caught staring at Chin Chuan at the school gate. Isn't there anyone from the service department who came to make a request today? Chin Chuan found a chair and sat down, looking at Yukino Shida Yukino curiously. Yukino Shida Yukino would call him here. On the one hand, it not only showed that she was very serious about the commission she accepted, 
but on the other hand, it also proved that Yukinoshita Yukino was quite free now. If there were other commissions to be busy with, Yukinoshita Yukino probably wouldn't call Chinchuan over. Not many people come to the service department usually. After all, not everyone is willing to tell strangers about their difficulties. Yukinoshita Yukino gently lifted her long hair and said calmly. What's more, the head of the service department is just a weak woman. There are probably many people who don't believe that I can help solve the problem. This is true. Although Yukinoshita Yukino is also a relatively well-known beautiful girl in school, just being famous for her beauty does not solve any problems. If students have problems, asking for help from family members, teachers, or friends are all good options. Asking for help from the service department is probably the last choice. Of course, there are also some people who seek help from the service department with the intention of being able to talk to Yukinoshita Yukino, in fact, this is the case with Akaji. However, Akaji is a single-minded person, and others will still worry about their face to some extent, isn't it embarrassing to ask a female classmate for help when they can't solve the problem themselves? Therefore, in fact, there have not been many people coming to the service department. It was very rare for two consecutive groups of people to come to make entrustments yesterday. So, wasn't there a girl who came to the service department yesterday? Her name was Yatsuya Miko, right? Chin Chuan thought of the black-haired girl Yatsuya Miko who had just walked out of the service department when he and Akaji entered the service department yesterday. It was precisely because of her existence that Chin Chuan realized that there might be evil spirits invisible to ordinary people in this world, and also gave him the idea of improving his spirit and soul. Do you know her? Yukinoshita Yukino looked at Chin Chuan in surprise, as if he didn't expect Chin Chuan to even know Yatsuya Miko's name. The request from Yatsuya san. Dot how should I put it, is rather strange. She asked me if I knew about the existence of evil spirits. Sure enough, Yatsuya Miko came to the service department to see if anyone could help get rid of the evil spirits she could see. For Yatsuya Miko, she must have tried various methods, but none of them could solve the problem of her eyes that can see evil spirits. Under desperation, she had no choice but to come to the service department for help. But the result was obviously not good. Yukinoshita Yukino obviously couldn't see evil spirits, so she just treated Yatsugumiko's question as some kind of chunabu behavior. Of course, from another perspective, Yatsuya Miko dared to directly ask about things related to evil spirits in the service department, which probably means that at least there are no evil spirits in the service department. So you didn't accept her commission. Chin Chuan was a little curious about how Yukinoshita Yukino dealt with Yatsuya Miko. Judging from Yatsuya Miko's state when she left yesterday, she probably failed to help Yatsuya Miko solve the problem. After all, Yukinoshita Yukino doesn't seem like someone who can solve the problem of evil spirits. However, Yukinoshita Yukino has the kind of character that wants to help others, so although she can't help Yatsugumiko solve the problem, she shouldn't refuse her request, right? I would like to accept her commission and prepare to take her to see a psychology teacher. With a serious look on her face, Yukinoshita Yukino said something that sounded rude to others. If an ordinary person said this, Chin Chuan might think that he was looking for trouble, but if Yukinoshita Yukino said this, Chin Chuan would think that she was really prepared to do this. But Yatsuya san seemed very disappointed, so he declined and left directly. There was still a hint of doubt in Yukinoshita Yukino's words. She didn't know why Yatsuya Miko's attitude suddenly changed. He obviously came to ask for help, but he suddenly changed his attitude and left the service department. Chin Chuan could guess that Yatsuya Miko realized that Yukinoshita Yukino could not help her solve the problem of evil spirits, so she left. However, Yatsuya Miko came to the service department probably with the idea of, maybe there is a chance, so she was not too disappointed. If Yatsuya San comes to the service club again in the future, you can contact me. I might be able to help her solve the problem. Chin Chuan looked at Yukinoshita Yukino, nodded and said. Contact you. Yukinoshita Yukino looked at Chin Chuan in surprise, looked him up and down, and then seemed to understand something. Do you want to pursue girls too? What are you thinking about? I'm talking seriously. Chin Chuan glanced at Yukinoshita Yukino speechlessly. 
This guy obviously thought he was attracted to Yatsuya Mitiko. If he admitted it, would Yukino Shida Yukino have received another commission? Do you also believe what she said about evil spirits? Seeing that Chin Chuan was not joking, Yukino Shida Yukino glanced at Chin Chuan suspiciously. Didn't you see it? Chin Chuan is also a Chunabu. You don't have to worry about this. You want to help others anyway, right? If I can solve Yatsuya san's problem, then by introducing me to her, wouldn't you also be helping others? Chin Chuan shrugged. If Yatsuya Miko came to his door now, Chin Chuan wouldn't be able to deal with it for the time being. But tonight he is going to Jojo Worldview. If nothing else happens, he should be able to find a way to improve his soul and spirit. As long as he has a substitute and a way to attack evil spirits, he will naturally not be afraid of evil spirits. You are not a member of the service department. However, Yukino Shida Yukino still frowned and snorted slightly, still slightly dissatisfied with Chin Chuan's statement. But in the end, Yukino Shida Yukino didn't say much. If Chin Chuan could really help Yatsuya Miko solve the trouble, then Yukino Shida Yukino would be happy to see it. To put it bluntly, Yukino Shida Yukino established a service club to help students solve their problems. At first glance, it seems like self-satisfaction, but in fact she really wants to help others. So in the end, it was not himself who helped others, but Chin Chuan, and Yukino Shida Yukino was not unacceptable. So, you asked me to come over and refine the details of the plan. Do you have any ideas? After discussing the issues between the service department and Yatsuya Miko, Chin Chuan certainly did not forget the main issue that he was called over by Yukino Shida Yukino. Certainly. When Chin Chuan changed the subject, Yukino Shida Yukino nodded and followed his words. You should have told Akaji san my plan, right? Chin Chuan nodded when he heard this. After all, he didn't have any plans, so he could only follow Yukino Shida Yukino's plan first. But now it seems that this plan may have some unexpected consequences. Seeing this, Yukino Shida Yukino continued. After the two of us leave, Akaji san and Tamaya san may not continue to act together, but may disband on the spot. Chin Chuan also thought of this at the beginning. He originally thought that Yukino Shida Yukino had not considered this at all, but now it seems that Yukino Shida Yukino has thought of it. Chin Chuan nodded and looked at Yukino Shida Yukino. So, what are you going to do? Tamaya san doesn't know that Akaji san is planning to pursue her, but Akaji san knows the whole plan. Yukino Shida Yukino's expression was very confident, just like when she first decided on this plan. In this case, we just need to keep in touch with Akaji san at all times, monitor the situation of Akaji san and Tamaya san at any time, and provide him with real time suggestions. Providing advice in real time, that is to say, are you going to follow Akaji and Tamaya san? Chinchuan probably understood what Yukino Shida Yukino meant. To put it simply, in order to prevent Akaji from slipping up at the critical moment, Yukino Shida Yukino decided to remotely control Akaji to ensure that Akaji could stay with Tamaya. After all, that guy Akaji said that when facing Tamaya Shion, he would not dare to come forward and talk to her. What if Akaji doesn't dare to talk to Tamaya Shion after Chinchuan and Yukino Shida Yukino leave this Saturday? Then the final result may be that Akaji and Tamaya Shion separate directly and go back to their respective homes. Yukino Shida Yukino considered this possibility, so she decided to monitor Akaji's situation throughout the whole process, and give timely advice when Akaji might fall off the chain to ensure that the two of them could always be together. However, it is not a simple matter to monitor the situation of Akaji and Tamaya Shion in real time. The only way is probably to follow Akaji and Tamaya Shion, that is, to tail. Absolutely. Although this kind of behavior is not very good, Akaji-san and Tamaya-san are not the type to take the initiative to talk to each other, so we can only help them. Yukino Shida Yukino did not shy away from this statement. Although stalking was a crime no matter how you looked at it, Yukino Shida Yukino still chose this plan without hesitation. There is no way, Akaji and Tamaya Shion, one is a stupid young man who is not good at talking to girls, and the other is a shy girl who has no feelings about love. If they are allowed to develop, it will be difficult to achieve results. Follow them and make suggestions in real time. After hearing this, Chin Chuan thought for a moment and felt a little entangled. After all, 
He had decided to find a martial arts gym this weekend to see if he could learn some martial arts skills. But if you agree to Yukino Shida Yukino's plan, it means that you will definitely not have time to find a martial arts gym this Saturday. After all, you have to follow Akaji and Tamaya Shion's date schedule. Although it wouldn't be too uncomfortable to be accompanied by a beautiful girl like Yukino Shida Yukino, it would still delay his day, which made Chin Chuan a little hesitant. What's wrong? Do you have anything else to do on Saturday? Yukino Shida Yukino also noticed Chin Chuan's hesitation, so she asked, she is not the type to force others, and if Chin Chuan really has something to do, she is not unable to change his plan. Although she has never been in love, Yukino Shida Yukino has always been obsessed with herself, and she believes that she can come up with other plans. That's right. Originally, I planned to go to a martial arts school to study after I separated from you this Saturday. Chin Chuan didn't hide it, and revealed his original plan, it's not shameful to go to a martial arts school to learn some martial arts, and it's not a bad thing to keep fit. Although Chin Chuan's goal is not to strengthen his body, in terms of physical strength alone, it would be difficult to find someone stronger than him in the world. He has never heard that there are people like fanmaxing in this world. When he went to a martial arts school, he mainly wanted to learn some fighting skills. Even if it wasn't comparable to the schools in the Dragon Ball world, it would at least keep him from getting too fancy. Martial arts school, that's what it is. Yukino Shida Yukino nodded, thought for a moment, and quickly responded. How about this? As a reward for the help you provide to Chin Chuan, I will take you to a gym where I know a famous swordsman to learn. How about this? Although it is not a martial arts gym, it should be similar, right? Kendokan. Chin Chuan was stunned for a moment, and then started to think about it. There are many people who use weapons in Dragon Ball, but weapons have never been the main theme. After all, the destructive power produced by the Chi in the Dragon Balls is much stronger than those weapons. Even if Trunks once used a sword, it basically had no sense of existence in the later stages. But in contrast, using Chi to turn into weapons is actually a way to do it. In the battles in the Dragon Ball world, there have been many examples of using Chi as weapons. For example, Zamasu in Dragon Ball Super, after he turned into Black Goku, he used his energy to transform into a huge scythe to fight, which was equally powerful. To put it more bluntly, Krillin's Chi Yuan Slash, although not a melee weapon, is a throwing move that has been shown to kill enemies beyond its level on more than one occasion. If Chin Chuan could turn Chi into a cutting weapon, then swordsmanship in the kendo hall might not be an option. Think about yourself in a battle, holding a chi sword with the same destructive power as chi yuan slash. The lethality is probably much stronger than a simple chi gung wave. You know, Krillin can cut off Frieza's tail in the second stage with ki slash, so the power of ki slash should not be underestimated. Don't worry, the kendo gym I know is not bad at it, how about it? Yukino Shida Yukino pursed her lips slightly, looked at Chin Chuan and said. Chin Chuan didn't have much doubt about the strength of the kendo gym she recommended. After all, the Yukino Shida family was quite powerful, so most of the kendo gyms that Yukino Shida Yukino could recommend were kendo celebrities. Okay, I'll go with you on Saturday. After thinking for a while, Chin Chuan, who felt that this wave was not a loss, agreed. Instead of searching for martial arts gyms on the street that he didn't know about his strength, it would be good to directly ask Yukino Shida Yukino to recommend a kendo gym with online strength. Very well, let's meet on Sunday for this matter. Seeing that Chin Chuan agreed, Yukino Shida Yukino's expression became brighter and she nodded with satisfaction. Huh, you want to come too? Chin Chuan was shocked. He thought that when Yukino Shida Yukino recommended kendo gyms, he just said hello to a certain kendo gym and then took the time to go there himself. But judging from Yukino Shida Yukino's speech, it seemed that she was planning to go with him this Sunday. Of course, although it is the kendo gym I recommended, I don't want anything to go wrong in your communication with the kendo gym, so of course I have to go with you. Yukino Shida Yukino is also a perfectionist. Doing things by yourself can minimize accidents, which is not a problem. But Chin Chuan still couldn't help scratching his head. Why did it seem like his two weekends were wrapped up by Yukino Shida Yukino after all this time? After leaving the service department, Chin Chuan returned home, 
threw his school bag beside the bed as always, then sat down at the desk, and turned on the computer. You can do your homework later, but of course you have to play the games first. Chin Chuan is playing an online game recently, which is a standard Japanese RPG online game. Although it is full of slowness and procrastination that are common in Japanese RPGs, Chin Chuan is not very picky. As soon as he went online, Chin Chuan saw the private message in the game pop up. The life-saving angel said, Hey, Kobold, come and play the book on Saturday, the new high-difficulty book. That's right, Chin Chuan's name in the online game is also Kobold, which is why when he entered the Infinite Horror VR game and asked for a username, he filled in Kobold without much hesitation. Internet names will be reused in many places after you get used to them. Of course, the same is true for Chin Chuan. If you see a Kobold somewhere one day, it might be Chin Chuan. Kobold. I have something going on this Saturday, so I can't come. Chin Chuan quickly sent a message back to the player named, Angel of Life Saving and Healing the Wounded, saying that he was busy this Saturday. After all, he promised Yukinoshi to Yukino to act together, and Chin Chuan would still go to the appointment on time, so although he also wanted to play games, Chin Chuan could only refuse with tears. The life-saving angel, huh? You actually have something to do on Saturday. It's a miracle. It must be a date with a girl. This, life-saving and healing angel, is an even more exaggerated online gaming loser than Chin Chuan. Chin Chuan usually just stays at home on weekends and doesn't go out, but this life-saving and healing angel is almost always online. At least when Chin Chuan came online, she had never been absent. She was a standard nerd, and she claimed to be a girl, but if it wasn't true, Chin Chuan didn't know. After all, across the internet, even if the other person is a dog, she can still claim to be a beautiful girl. Kobold. Not dating a girl, but maybe watching other people date all day long. Chin Chuan sighed. He and Yukinoshi to Yukino, two singles, had to spend time on the weekend to match up a couple. It was awkward no matter how they thought about it. The life-saving angel, what kind of weird play is that? If you can't come on Saturday, you can always come on Sunday, right? The other party obviously didn't quite understand what Chin Chuan said, but after all, they were just netizens. The other party was very sensible and did not ask further questions, but proposed to play games together on Sunday. After all, Chin Chuan usually stays at home and plays games on weekends, so the other party naturally thinks that even if he has something to do on Saturday, he should still be free on Sunday. It's a pity that if the other party had said this yesterday, Chin Chuan might have agreed, but now, dot his Sunday had just been booked by Yukinoshi to Yukino in the service department. Kobold. There are things to do on Sunday. The life-saving angel. What? Are you going to become a real person? Obviously, this life-saving angel has always thought that Chin Chuan and her are the same people, and they both have the standard otaku character. Probably it was hard for her to imagine that there would be people who would go home and play games every day after school, and also play online games on weekends, but they could actually get along well with everyone in school, right? How could such a person exist? Kobold. It's just some private matters. You don't think that everyone is like you, playing games every day and never going out, do you? The life-saving angel said, how rude. I also know how to go out to school. Kobold. You're actually still in school. This was the first time Chin Chuan had heard of such a thing. Although this life-saving angel claimed to be a girl, Chin Chuan did not expect that she was actually in school. After all, Chin Chuan would open the game every time he came home, but every time he opened the game, this guy was online, so he always thought that the other person should stay at home and play games all day long. But now it seems, this guy may be a habitual offender of arriving late and leaving early. The angel who saved lives and healed the wounded, as long as it doesn't become a cash deposit, it will be fine. Among the people I know, there are not many people with better skills. If you quit, I will lose a teammate. Of course, the other party was so concerned about Chin Chuan's situation. Of course, he couldn't have any special thoughts about Chin Chuan through the network cable. He was simply interested in Chin Chuan's gaming skills. Chin Chuan's original game skills were very good, but now with the blessing of Chi, his reaction speed has been improved to a higher level. If he plays a dungeon again, 
he will surely surprise the angel who saves lives and heals the wounded. The life-saving angel, but as long as you're not dating a girl, then you shouldn't give up on online games so quickly. Kobold, although what you said is true, it always makes people feel angry. Chin Chuan's mouth twitched, because many teammates and players had girlfriends before quitting the game, so the saying of angels who save lives and heal the wounded is quite right. It's just that these words always make Chin Chuan feel very uncomfortable. Why do you say it as if he can't find a girlfriend? The life-saving angel said, but if you really want to date a beautiful girl, I can't cooperate with you. Kobold, isn't it too narcissistic to call yourself a beautiful girl? Although he usually interacts with the life-saving angel many times, this is the first time he has seen the other person talk so much. Angel who saved lives and injured people, this is not my boast. Back in heaven, anyway, in the place where I originally lived, everyone praised me as a beautiful girl who only meets once in 10,000 years. Kobold, are all those old monsters living in your place? We only meet them once in 10,000 years. Chin Chuan did not take the other party's words seriously. After all, across the internet, what the other party said did not have any credibility. Kobold. Anyway, I don't have time this weekend. Let's fight next week. It's not in a hurry anyway. The life-saving angel said, that's okay. Since you can't come this weekend, then my teammates here can't get together. It just so happens that I should go work on the weekend. Kobold, are you still working? The life-saving angel, the living allowance provided to me at home is getting less and less, and it can no longer meet my needs for Krypton gold, so I found a part-time job, but I haven't done it for a long time. Kobold, this doesn't even make you fired. The store manager where you work is really a nice person. Chin Chuan couldn't help but feel sad for the store manager where this guy worked. A worker who hadn't gone to work for so long didn't even fire her. However, after such a conversation, the image of this life-saving angel in Chin Chuan's mind was gradually outlined. Being late and leaving early, being addicted to online games, spending money like crazy, being openly absent from work. No way, the more I think about it, the more I think this guy is a loser. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.